Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Mike here with Imperial Rottweilers. I'm back with another video and we're gonna get straight into a highly requested video. A lot of you guys um, have come to the channel and saw the last video, how I feed my Rottweilers. And we got some new Rottweiler puppy owners, especially here during quarantine. A lot of people picked up the Rottweiler puppy and you guys ask me all the time, how do you feed a Rottweiler puppy? What age do you feed? What do you feed? So in this video, I'm gonna to try to address a lot of those questions and show you guys how I feed my Rottweiler puppy. But first, I'm gonna do a disclaimer. I am not a veterinarian. I am not a nutritionist. I'm just, you know, a guy that has had several Rottweilers from eight weeks old to nine weeks old, and I raised them all the way up to their adult lives. And I've always fed raw food and I've never had a problem with feeding raw food. I have, you know, had great experiences with it. You know, I've had less vet visits. My dogs had no allergies. My Rottweilers were healthy, no hip dysplasia, you know, just a lot of different things from what can happen from a, a, a poor diet, especially if you just do a kibble diet with, with all that filler. And that. so here we go in this video. So, so far we have, so we got some chicken feet. We have, and look at the price on this. So pretty much, you know, it's not that expensive guys. You know, you can spend a lot of money on kibbles. You can spend a lot of money on, on feeding, you know, regular raw food. But how I do it, you know, I just find what's cheap. If I'm in ShopRite, if I'm in, you know, whatever food store I'm in, you know, I just try to find what's cheap and, and what's on sale. So I have some chicken gizzards here and hearts. And we got Gunner back there. So I'm gonna use Gunner in this. He's the, the youngest uh, Rottweiler. My other Rottweilers, I got them at nine, 10 weeks. I got him at eight weeks. But if you can see from the other videos, he's growing up really fast and he's gonna be, he's gonna be pretty big. Got some beef chuck cube boneless. And I have an egg right here. So this is midday here and he did have kibbles, which was for overnight that he had. And he, it was just a little bit in there. So I'll let him finish that up. Now, one of the questions you guys ask is, do I feed raw, do I feed kibbles? Cause I do it both in one day. And I would say it all depends on, you know, what you have going on. So for example, you know, I got Gunner when he was eight weeks old and I left the food out. <clears throat> I left some kibble out for him to have and feed on all day. You know, I want him to get nutrition. That was the diet that he was already on. I asked the breeder how, his feeding times and I continue that that process when I got Gunner. So, you know, he could just be in, in the best health. health. So I usually feed raw food if it's gonna if i'm gonna start raw food is gonna be for that day i don't mix up kibble and raw food throughout the day i usually don't do that if you are gonna feed raw food i would highly suggest you still have a high quality uh kibble so i'm gonna show you guys here this is on standby right here you know that that tub is, is is full with uh some quality some quality kibble. Uh, so I'm always gonna have food. I'm always gonna have food on standby, just in case I can't make it. You have a snowstorm, you get sick, or something happens, and you can't feed raw food, or the food goes bad, or if it's too frozen, you always wanna have some some kibble on standby just in case. So Gunner, he saw that, uh, he see the food, he smell it. So he's definitely reacting to that right now. You're gonna eat a little bit, Gunner. So back to the raw food. So I started Gunner on eating raw food at 10 weeks. For the first two weeks, I was getting adjusted to Gunner. Gunner was getting adjusted to myself, the whole routine of everything. So I really didn't wanna just start dealing with, you know, cutting up food and just, you know, doing all that. So I just continued on the food that the breeder gave. And, you know, I slowly transitioned to the kibble that I was gonna use. And from there, you know, around the 10th week, so Gunner, he's three and a half months now. 
But around the 10th week, I started, I gave Gunnar an egg. I started him off with just, you know, one egg here, just like this. I broke it up for him because at the time, you know, he didn't really have no teeth hard enough to crack this. And then I, like a week later, I started off with a more of a soft meat. Now he can actually eat like a drumstick. Uh, he can take his time and he'll make the whole thing disappear. So I would suggest that you start from anywhere from, from 10 weeks and up. I've never done eight weeks. I've never done nine weeks. I'm just going to say what I've done and I've done 10 weeks and, you know, just gradually move forward from there. So if you look at my other video, you may see that I'm, I'm giving my dog some, you know, some chicken backs, you know, he's too young for that. You know, you want to start off small. So stuff, stuff that he, that your dog can eat smaller. So you're going to want to start with food that your Rottweiler puppy can eat based off of his age, you know, just, I mean, you, you look at the teeth and just look at overall, if something is too hard, you think for your Rottweiler puppy to eat, you know, gauge it that way. You know, eventually when they become adults and become a little older, you know, they're going to be able to handle more hard food and eat harder things. But when they're still young and still puppies, you know, you want to still give them stuff that's, you know, appropriate for them to eat. So I'm going to pop this open here. I'm going to give him, give him three of these chicken feet. Give him some beef. Now this is going to be more expensive, the beef, but it's great. You know, it's nice and soft for him to chew. One egg. He can crack and eat this egg now. Uh, in the beginning, he couldn't. I had to break it up for him. And I didn't give him the shell in the very beginning, but now he's going to just knock this whole thing out. And here, I'm going to open up and give him some organs some gizzards and hearts. And, you know, I didn't measure anything, but you know, this is pretty much what he's gonna get. And this is a heavy meal. Uh, he's gonna eat, you know, again later. We're gonna do a lot, we're gonna play outside in the snow. So, you know, this is a nice heavy meal in the beginning, but I'm home with him all day and we're gonna be outside. He's gonna have a lot of activity and he'll probably eat one more time today because this is a heavy meal. If I'm doing kibble for the day, I'm gonna leave the kibble out all day in this stage of his life so he can eat as he chooses throughout the day. But he's gonna get a really nice, good quality meal today. And if he doesn't eat all this, then you know, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it to the side and let him, you know, eat some of this later. But this right here is how I feed my Rottweiler puppy and I'm gonna pass it over to Gunner. All right. Good boy, good boy. Here you go, sit, sit, sit. Good boy, sit. Good boy, sit, sit, sit. Good. And also, guys, there's no food aggression here. You know, I could let my daughter even do this because we've started from young. You know, I pet him while he eats, and just no food aggression. That's also something that you really gonna to wanna to start with your young puppy is, you know, having socialization with your dog while he eats to reduce any type of aggression. It goes with the bloodline, of course, and you know, how he was started early on. But as you can see, I can do this and there's no food aggression. Good boy. All right, chow up, little man. As usual, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video, thumb thumb up the video, put a like on there, and you know spread spread this video out to other people that are looking to get a Rottweiler puppy. You know we're gonna show the good side of Rottweilers, how an amazing dog this is, and you know we're gonna just build from there. Thanks for watching.